Today we're doing lesson 5.21, module 5, lesson 21. As you can see, we skipped 19. Did we do 20 last week? I think so. Yes? Okay. This is the last lesson of this module, and so it's pretty much a review. But today we're going to see if we can put together everything we know about polygons and based on if I tell you, like, draw a polygon with two sets of parallel lines. What kind of polygon did I ask you to draw? Parallelogram. And I'm going to see if you can do that. Does that make sense? Very good. But first, let's talk about the problem of the day. Today's problem of the day is really interesting. It really tests your understanding of how well you understand the area model. So let's take a look. Anna says that a one and one third inch by four and a half inch rectangle has one section that is one inch by four inches and then a section that is one third inch by one half inch. That means that the total area is just the sum of these smaller areas or four and one six square areas. Is she correct by the way? No, the problem already tells you that Anna's incorrect and it's asking you why to explain why she is incorrect and to use an area model to explain your thinking. Then give the correct area of the rectangle. So Anna's rectangle is one and one third inch by four and one half inches. So if I'm gonna split that up using the area model, how can I do that? Well, instead of saying four and a half, I can split it right there and say that there's one section that's four inches and one section that's one half inches. Do you guys agree? Okay, similarly, instead of saying one and one third, I can say that there's one area that's one and one area that's one third. <coughs> now, does Anna know that you can find the smaller areas? She does. She says that there's one section that's one inch by four inches. Is there one section that's one inch by four inches? Yeah. This one right here. Do you agree? Yeah. And how would you find the area for that part? You would do one times four, which is four. four. Very good. Then she says there's another area, another section that's one third inch by one half inch. Is she correct? Yeah. What, which section there is one third inch by one half inch? So this section down here, it is one third right here by one half right there. So this section, to find the area, you do do one third times one half, which is what? Six. One sixth. Now Anna says, you know what? Then I just add up the different parts to get the total area. Why is she incorrect? Supan? Yeah, she forgot this section here. And she forgot this section here. There's two whole sections she forgot. So in your explanation, you have to explain that she only found two sections, but really how many sections are there that she needs to find? Four. Four. How can we find the area of the blue section? What are the measurements? One, one by one, one half. So what is the area? One Very good. How do I find the area of the black section? One, one, one third times four, which is? One, one, one and one third, or four thirds. Oops, one and one third. There we go. Now, since the problem is telling us, to, or the question is asking us to find the correct area as well, how do we find the correct area? We just have to add four plus one half plus one and one third plus one sixth. So if I do that, four plus one half plus one and one third plus one sixth. What would my common denominator be? So let's rewrite it. One half is the same as how many sixths? Okay. One and one third is the same as one and how many sixths? Okay. One sixth is the same as how many sixths? Very good. Okay, let's add up the whole numbers first. Four plus one is? Okay. What, if I have three sixths and I add another two sixths, how many do I get? And I add another one sixth, how many do I get? Six sixths. Six sixths six is the same thing as one, right? So this is five plus one, which is? Six. What would my units be? Square inches. Square inches, very good. Okay, so you can see here that would you, if you were Anna's teacher, would you say, oh yeah, you clearly understand area model? No. I would say, oh, you don't, you're trying to not do the area model. You're trying to multiply the different parts, the whole number part and the fraction part. But you're forgetting that there's two missing parts. So what would you suggest to Anna if she doesn't want to make silly mistakes on her math test? Draw a... You got it. 